edition of Leaving the Ring. I'm your host, Dave Duenas, with my co-host, Gable Montoya, and the man behind the switchboard, our producer, David Chan. This is my boxing official radio show. Your welterweight contender, uh, Jesse Vargas, who's uh, on a press tour right now. I'm not sure where he's heading off to in his plane uh, to announce uh, the fight with Josecito Lopez. Welcome to the show. So when you hear when you hear uh, Josecito Lopez say, you know, it, this is a fight that really determines who's going to survive. Uh, what do you think about that? Is this a fight of two fighters of at the end who survives out of it, or do you think do you think that you're the one that it's this going to be? I think, I, I think it's a fight that, that yes, I agree somewhat. Uh, it's a fight that will open the doors for bigger and better uh, opportunities and big, bigger and better things. Um, now, you know, I'm I'm working hard. I'm sure he is. But uh, I'm coming to win, you know, and, and that's the bottom line. So, and one thing that do, that I do agree with him is that uh, this will open the door to many things in the future. What, what, what said that you were ready for this kind of guy? Because, you know, um, we talked about this a little bit yesterday. You've had the prospect fights. You've kind of had the, the aging veteran fight. Uh, you've passed those tests. Was it just just t- perfect timing now to take on somebody like Josecito, who's kind of in his prime? I feel it's the perfect timing. I mean, like like I say, uh, I always give Jose Cito credit, credit because he is a very good fighter, you know. But I mean, as I said before, I feel that I'm, you know, a better fighter. So I mean, talk is talk is cheap. I would just have to present it and show everyone come September 17th. Why don't you trash talk more? Um, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's just, <laughs> I mean, I mean. <laughs> I don't. I don't really like to trash talk. You know, I just, you know, just say it how it is, and um, you know, respect right. him as, as a fighter. You know, respect him as a fighter, and um, you know, I, I do expect a great fight um, coming from on, on coming from him. You know, I know he shows up at each event, each fight, two fight. So yeah. you know, expect fireworks September seventeenth. I was curious. Like I, I was watching you guys. You know, uh, when you're at the podium there in L.A., uh, one guy's talking, the other guy's talking, and, and each fighter's kind of looking at the other guy. What are you thinking at that point? Are you already sizing him up? Uh, are you listening to his words for any sort of fuel for your training? What's going through your mind? You know what? Um, as he was talking, um, it seems like he's a very respectful. Uh, it seems like he's a gentleman. Yeah, I mean, we both respect each other. I feel, and um, we know that it, it isn't going to be an easy fight. I think we both do. I think we we look at each other and uh, we're ready to go. Yeah, there's really no animosity needed for this fight. I mean, with the styles, you guys both are going to come forward. Uh, I think. Do you think the difference is going to be who boxes just just good enough and who, who has a little bit better defense? Because you both are aggressive guys and you can be hit a little bit. Well, I guess it's just going to come down to who has the better movement. Because I mean, the smallest movements will make a difference in this fight. You know, the quickest, the fastest, and the right movement will make a difference, and, and it will it will be noticed most definitely. And um, you know, I have Robert Arcasar on my on my side now. And uh, we have plenty of time to uh, prepare for this fight. And all those movements are, are coming along in place, you know. All the movements that I'm talking about, uh, the speed, everything we're working on is just perfect just for this fight. What, what, what was the reason to uh, train uh, to uh, trade trainers, I mean, to get Robert, uh, Robert Alcazar in the mix? And, and is he the sole head trainer? Are you still getting advised by Roger or anything? Me and Roger get along just well. Um, Robert sorry, is the main trainer. He is the trainer, and um, the reason that I changed it, uh, that I made the made the change, was just some some personal reasons that I that I felt that I had to make the change. It wasn't an easy decision to do. You talked about, um, you know, he came on what two weeks before your last fight, um, and, and you felt like it's already a difference. You said uh, that you'd added speed. Uh, how do you how, how do you mean that? Is it like taking not loading up on your punches as much, and so you gain a little bit of speed that way, or getting uh, you know moving on your toes a little bit different ways. Uh, how do you gain speed? Speed, I, um, I guess everything, every move that I make now is a lot faster. Uh, it could be my my uh, arms or legs, um, you know. And as I said before, I changed it. I uh, it's very it was noticed in my past fight, July 8th versus uh, Estrada. Yeah. You know, I was very quick. I was very uh, aware of everything. We're looking forward to showing even a better performance with Otisito. Uh, coming into this fight, what do you? How do you feel? Do you feel like you're the underdog in this fight, or do you feel he's the underdog? You know what? I truly believe everyone expects a great fight, 
Mm-hmm. But um, from what I'm looking at, yeah, I think um, I think he might be the underdog. I mean, you can't really you can't really compare too much, but you know, we're everyone expects a great fight. That's 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 for sure. Can't really say underdog, but um, I guess from what I see, I guess a lot of people and a lot of opinions they're figuring him as the underdog. Cito Lopez, what you see is what you get. He's a he's a pretty big guy. Uh, come forward, throws tons and tons of shots, and can continuously puts the pressure on you. You know, and if you look back at the fights, like with Mike Dallas, Mike was always two steps behind and trying to counter him or try to get him off. Do you play in his fight, which means make it a war, go forward, and both throw a lot of shots? Speaking of Michael Dallas, um, he's a good fighter, but I, I really don't compare myself anywhere near him. You know, now what's the about him coming to fight? To me, it doesn't matter if he wants to fight, if he wants to box. You know, whatever he wants to do, we'll be ready for him. And, and I could fight as well, you know, and I'm a big puncher myself. If he wants to come in and bang, you know, we'll, we'll give it to him. There we go. Hey, Vargas, hey, thank you again, bro. It's always a pleasure when we have you on, man, and uh, can't, wait to, uh, can't wait to see the fight. And hopefully whoever's victorious comes back on leaving the ring, regardless if, if you win or not. I think you're going to win a lot of uh, fight fans over, casual fans mostly, that haven't had a chance to see neither one of you guys get in the ring and mix it up. Thank you, and thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. Uh, so here we are with, with the other half. We had Jesse Vargas earlier. Uh, and now we have Josecito Lopez, a uh, junior welterweight contender, who on September 17th in Vegas is going to open up the big star power show on the Golden Boy undercard against Jesse Vargas. Uh, welcome to the show, Josecito Lopez. Bob, thank you for having me, man. Pleasure to be back on the show. Hey, you know what? I liked what you said in that press conference. And this would pump me up. This is a fight of who survives. Because I really honestly believe that. I think this is a fight of who really survives and who who brings what to the table. I want to go back with that phrase you said. This is a fight where we're, we find out who survives. What were you thinking at that time when you said that phrase? What it is is uh, I, I've, been, I've been tested. Uh, I, I've, uh, you know, come a little short on a, on a few tests. And, uh, you know, I've overcome a few tests, you know. And uh, I don't think Jesse Vargas has quite been tested, you know. So pretty much uh, the test is for Vargas. We're going to see. And people know my style. Uh, I'm sure Jesse Vargas knows my style. And he knows what, he, what he's in for. And, and I know what he's in for. So we, we, we're, what we got to see is what he can do when he's in there with a top-notch fighter like me. You know, people said, hey, look, he can't do this. He can't pull. I remember the Mike Dallas. You know, a lot of people were telling me that I was crazy that I was picking you to win that fight. Now, but this is a pretty big uh, uh, event for the both of you guys, okay? So my question to you, Jose, is do you change your style to make sure you secure a win? Or do you continue being Mr. Lopez, the one that us hardcore fight fans have fallen in love with, and take the fight to Vargas because – that's what fight fans would want to watch. That's what fight fans would want to see. And the casual fans who haven't had a chance to see you guys grace the ring, to see these you guys that are real blue collar and come forward and come to fight type of Mexican fighters. You know, we we obviously every fighter we have a different game plan for every fighter. You know, it, it, we're not we're not fighting the same exact fight as uh, you know we did, for example, uh, my last fight, Mike Dallas. You know, but you know, there's certain similarities in, in certain fighters that we hear. But at the end of the day, I'm Josecito Lopez, and, you know, I have a come-forward style. Now you're facing off, you're looking at each other, cameras, you know, are flashing away, and everybody's basically having your eyes on the both of you guys. What was the mind frame? You know, were you sizing them up? Were you looking at them and seeing, okay, what does this guy bring? Part of the game. You know, you, you obviously got to... You got to see what the other fighter has. Uh, you know, you got you got to read the fighter. You know, I've been in there for for several years now, so I, I kind of know, you know, my train of thought going into a fight. You know, but hey, I, I know I know he's bringing he's coming with his best, and uh, I'm coming with my best. So I'm excited to watch the fight after my fight. You know, so uh, this is a great fight, man. I'm I'm excited for it, and I can't wait to get in there. So I'm I'm gonna come with my best, and we're gonna give a hell of a fight. Come September seventeenth. Do, do you think you're the underdog in this fight? Uh, you know what? Uh, that, that's that's a, that's a tough question. You know, uh, I see I see a lot of real boxing fans that hey, it's it's you know, a lot of them say hey, you know what? I, I'm going to destroy this guy. A lot of them say that Jesse Vargas is going to destroy me. You know, I, I don't know. You know, but I know I'm coming and I'm coming to win and I'm going to win September seventeenth. <laughs> you know, Osacito, I got to ask you: Do you need? Do you 
animosity or, or, or anything behind to kind of bring the fight, you know, to the other guy. I mean, with Jesse Vargas here, who, who's who been respectable, respectable, but too, is as, as being confident, and, and he's saying, look, he was on the show just earlier in the beginning of the show, and he said, I'm not the underdog. He's the underdog. You know, like like I, like people have asked me and told me before, you know, uh, hey, why don't you talk shit? Or, or, hey, that's not the type of fighter I am, you know. I'm, you know, it would, it would feel very awkward and weird to, to get in there and, and try to, you know, uh, cuss this guy out or try to intimidate him. No, no, I do I do my talking in the ring, and uh, I think that proves it. I, I don't I don't need to do that. The fight, period. You know, that that's big enough motivation for me, and I, I really don't need anything else. And I I told I said I uh, said this to a few people. I know September seventeenth, I have a tough fight against Jesse Vargas, but in my opinion. I think Jesse Vargas has a tougher fight than I do, so we got to see September 17th. I appreciate you coming on, bro. I'm excited about this fight. I, I can't, I can't thank the, both of you guys enough for signing on to fight each other. It's just uh, everything that's always said bad about boxing. It's always just one fight that always makes us go. See, this is why we watch boxing. This is why we love the sport. Oh, thank you. No problem, man. This is what I do. This is what I live for, man. I, I love being in a in a position, you know, like this. And I, I think I've earned my position where I'm at right now to be, a, you know, get a shot at a, an HBO pay per view, even if it's an opener, you know. But hey, this will only open doors, you know. So uh, I'm excited. September 17th. Don't miss it. 6 p.m. Is this yeah, Riverside versus? To... Let me ask you this: Is this Riverside versus Las Vegas? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yep, I'm representing Riverside, and he's from Las Vegas, so we got to bring bring everything we got to Vegas. Absolutely, brother. Thank you again, right. man, for calling in. Uh, thanks, thanks to you guys, man. Always a pleasure to be with you guys. There you go, Josecito Lopez, man, is gonna be facing Jesse Vargas. Great two, two great young Mexican kids, uh, Mexican American kids are gonna be stepping in the ring and leaving it in the ring. You know, it's, this is a fight you cannot pass by, pass on. Trust me, you gotta be there either live or you gotta. Trust me.